Hello! I was wondering whether or not I should even make this one, because I don't think this video is going to be all that substantial, there's not all that much to even do, but I mean, come on. <laughs> I couldn't not. Uh, I'm sad though, because I, so I logged into the game, right, and I didn't think to record that, but of course that's when the birthday message and everything uh, appears. By the way, this video is about Wrecker's birthday. And... So, Rekka pops up, and the thing that she says is something along the lines of, like, it's surprising for someone to even remember my birthday, and I think that's really sad. Like, think about it. In the anime, she's, like, a really popular idol in Ultra Rare. So, the fact that she's a really popular idol, and yet she seems to think everyone forgets her birthday anyway, that's, like, surprisingly depressing. <laughs> But don't worry, Rekka, I didn't forget your birthday. So yeah, we're here for the Rekka birthday event thingy. Uh, we already had one of these with Tetsu. Uh, and I guess they're just a thing that we're doing now. You spend gems to open packs and then you get a bunch of cards from the clan that that person plays. So we're going to be doing that quickly. Yes, I am aware I do not have enough gems to do all of the packs, but... This game is very grindy, so I'm only going to open the two anyway. Uh, yeah. So I guess before we do that, we're going to very quickly just look at the amount of crafting material I have for Rekka, because I've already got a place out of everything. So unless I pull any interesting looking SPs, there's not actually going to be anything interesting here for me. I obviously do want to pull cards anyway, though, because... So basically, the, the gacha... Uh, is a very limited gacha that only gives you cards from the clan the character plays. But with Rekka, I already have everything from her clan. And as you can see at the bottom there, I've already got a lot of crafting material I'm saving up for when the reverse Angel Feather units release. Whenever that happens, I don't even think Japan has those yet. So I've still got a lot of time to save up. But if I'm correct... The reverse Angel Feather set is going to be the last Angel Feather set for a very long time, so if there was ever anything to save up for, that would be it, right? So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and um, look at the store and everything. So, we do have an item exchange. Uh, if we go over here. And it allows us to exchange for one item. It's a kind of underwhelming right item. It's weird that it's a Team Ultra Rare one. It's Rekka's birthday. I would have liked something a bit more Rekka specific. I wonder if that means that on Suiko and uh, Corrin's birthday, we're just going to get the exact same banner. I don't know how that works. Again, I would have liked... Um, again, I would have liked a more character-specific banner. Not any... Like, you know, of course. I wouldn't have expected anything like too amazing. It's nice that we get something like this is all, like I said, we've only just started doing this recently anyway. Anyway, I do love how that Gacha banner thing looks with Wrecker and everything on it. That stuff's really nice. And the banner's only active today, so if this video is already up and you're seeing this, then you better do it immediately because it's going to go very, very soon. Uh, yeah, sure, let's look at the rates then, why not? <laughs> Pad the video out. Uh, six cards we given another Gacha roll, yeah, 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 so on and so forth. Looks like our odds of getting like triple rares and double rares are more or less the same and as you can see the big gimmick with this one is that uh, it's only Angel Feather units here which is good. So I mean yeah other than that um, so we, we what we do is we spend a thousand gems to do a 10 roll which is pretty cool. I didn't realize there was going to be someone like this, so I, if I knew, <laughs> then I, I, I would have started saving up gems sooner, and no, I'm not paying for them. <laughs> I'm not paying real money for a chance to do a gacha roll so that I can get more copies of cards I already have a place out of. <laughs> Asking me to do that is kind of ridiculous. So instead I'm just going to spend the gems I already have, and that's okay because the gems I already have will be enough to get me that Team Ultra Red banner anyway. Not that I'm going to use it because, well yeah. Uh, without further ado, I guess, let's go ahead and do it. And see what we get. Again, uh, there's nothing I'm specifically looking for other than SPs, I guess. 
Because like I said, I've already got everything. Once again, I was kind of considering whether or not I should even make this video. So, let's see what we get. So, it says this is a double rare uh, thingy here. And again, I... Uh, the, the crafting materials I get from this is going to be very, very useful because I'm imagining I'm going to get a lot of crafting materials. So that's good. Um, yesterday I got like one of those um, achievements that told me I had done 7,000 character fights against Rekka. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good for materials and stuff, but you can never have too many. This, like I said, this game is very grindy. Alright, let's carry on. But yeah, that's kind of the downside of the birthday gacha thing being so new is I didn't have enough time to save up. If we'd been doing the birthday gacha thing from the very beginning ever since the game launched, then I would have known months beforehand uh, that this would happen and I'd know how many gems to save up in preparation. But as I mentioned, uh, Tetsu was the first character to have done this, and that was like a week or so ago, so I only had like a week, so when they did the Tetsu one, I'm like, oh god, there's like a record one in like a week now. Uh, cool, we got ASP, Calamity Flame, that's, uh, that's something. Kind of want, uh, an SP of a triple rare or something, though. Alright, let's, uh, spend even more gems. B, yeah, I do think this is a super cool idea for a gacha, though. Let's uh, see. Ooh, another double rare pull. Okay. Could still get a triple rare SP, but... I think that would be a really good way of rounding out Rekka's birthday. Maybe another SP no seal. Nope. Come on. Ooh, okay. Well, we got exactly what we asked for. Not a no seal SP, but an SP nonetheless. And that's a double rare SP, so that's a pretty expensive one. Of course, we did get a Climate Flame SP earlier, but those, those just normal rare SPs aren't that expensive. Of course, it does help, you know. So, I because I currently have a playset of everything, maybe if I wanted to, I could try and go for a playset of all the SPs as well, but that would, like, realistically to do that, I would actually have to start dropping money, and I'm not planning on doing that. Uh... Alright, okay, yeah, we got a few SPs there, actually. We got, um... I thought I already crafted the SPs for Fazer Pegasus, but... Not that I used that version, I used the, um... Tournament mode... ones, and then look at all this... <laughs> yeah, okay, let's, let's uh, go back and look at... Uh, and look at, um... Well, first we're gonna exchange those... For, uh, the banner. I would keep them. In fact, I would actually kind of love to just have those, like, little rack of metal things in my inventory, but I imagine they'd probably disappear from my inventory by the end of today, like, on their own anyway, so I may as well just spend them and get the banner. Like so. So, we go into the item exchange. And then, we go to the rack of metals, and we spend those. I mean, I currently have 800 gems. If I really go hard on ranked mode... Oh, you... Mu okay, so I'm gonna have to... That's annoying. Didn't know that, because I didn't do the Tetsu. Uh, I didn't do the Tetsu one, so I didn't realize they did that. But that's really annoying. Well, now I really am gonna have to go hard on ranked mode. Climb, like, what, four or so ranks? To, to get the... Oh, that's to get 1,000. I still need another 1,000. Oh, am I really gonna have to pay real money just to get this Wrecker Emblem? Are you... I'm not doing that. I mean, I could. But I don't think it would be worth it just for one JPEG to have as my profile picture in this game. God damn it, game. Oh, jeez. If only I knew that beforehand. Um, okay, so the other thing we were gonna do is we are gonna look at the character fight stuff. Uh, because I wanted to see how many materials I had. So, that's an alright amount of materials. I don't, like, see, it looked like we got a lot when we did the gacha pool. But, when you look at it like that, it's like, it doesn't look like much more than what we already had. But, you know what? It's fine. I'll take it just for the SPs anyway. Uh, I guess I, for now I should go into the menu. 
and just quickly swap out this for the birthday one. Let's see. It's probably under time limited. Yeah, okay. And yes, I do have the Psyqualia banner. <laughs> I just don't use it. Uh, okay, let's see. Where is it? It's probably near the bottom. Okay, there it is. And then, where's the Ultra Rare one? Yeah, there it is. Yep. We'll do the Happy Birthday one for now. I actually really like that one. I wouldn't mind keeping it, but I think having a Happy Birthday one on a day that isn't her birthday would be a bit weird. Uh, and then, yeah, sure. What? To exhaust all the content from this uh, campaign, we may as well go into my room and place down the cake, you know? Come on, you can load. I don't know why this game takes so long to load nowadays. Um, maybe it's a problem with my phone. Wait, no, we don't need to shop. We can place furniture. It's been so long since I changed my room. This is the room I put together for the Christmas stuff. And then when January came, I just took the um, Christmas tree out of the room and then that was it. But now we can replace it with a rack of cake. Come on, game. There you go. Um... I imagine it'll be in here. Uh, other, maybe? This is the thing, I used the My Room feature so little that I don't know where everything would be. Is it in Christine? It, yeah, okay, here it is. Uh, it's this one. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Let's put a little cake there. And then, let's move Suiko out of the way. And then... Ta-da! There we go. <laughs> so this was a very redundant video, but, you know, I, I feel like not many of people would make this video, but, you know, the whole wreck of thing is a, is a long-running thing on the channel, so I thought I kind of had to. Uh, maybe I'll end up grinding for those other gems later to get, um... The icon but I'm kind of a busy guy with a lot of things to do so who knows maybe maybe not I don't know again kind of wish I knew about that beforehand Vanguard Zero could you have not at least had it on the menu but grayed out so I can't select it yet even that would have been more useful because then I would have saw that on the Tetsu one and went okay cool that's how they do that but whatever regardless that was the record birthday event campaign I don't know what they're calling it but it, it was a thing and it was cool that, I mean, it was good timing because it meant, this meant that I could actually do a video about the birthday campaigns while they were still new because this is only the second one and the first one was only a, a few days ago. And I imagine people were like, what does Asterisk think about that? And no one thought that. But I can tell you that Asterisk thinks it's cool. Uh, it's not too exciting or anything. It's not too amazing but then again programming one of these for every single character's birthday would be a pain in the ass and so having it just be a little simple thing where they give you a banner and allow you to open packs from that character's clan clan that's a genuinely useful gameplay mechanic that makes grinding for stuff super easy uh mainly crafting materials though uh and yeah so that's all I have to really say about this event. Nothing too amazing or special, but uh, happy birthday, Racker, I guess. And uh, I'll see you later with some more videos. Uh, be sure to wish Racker a happy birthday in the comments. If you don't, I'll find you. And yeah, I'll see you later with some more videos. And remember, for every statement, there's always an asterisk.